Ralph Waldo Emerson's poem Water is a brief 12-line poem with an intense meaning. His philosophy that God is in nature around us comes to the fore. This poem personifies water and demonstrates the immense power of water, the power to sustain life and the power to destroy it. Ralph Waldo Emerson was a well-known American essayist, poet and popular philosopher of 19th century. He was born in 1803 and died in 1882. He started his career as a Unitarian minister in Boston and achieved fame with his early essays such as Self-Reliance and History. He developed a school of transcendental thought and his pioneering works have influenced generations of Americans including Henry David Thoreau. The first line itself the poet has used a literary device known as personification, wherein water is said to have human characteristics. Water is described as though it is human. It understands human civilization. It has knowledge of the world. The lifespan of water is as long as the earth itself. So it knows and understands human civilization better than human beings themselves can. The poet has further shared his thoughts on the fact that water wets his foot and the action is done prettily. He then adds that water can chill his life but wittily in a clever and funny way. Water he feels has the capacity to cool us down in a beautiful and refreshing way. These two lines bring out the aesthetic qualities of water being pretty and witty. Then in the fifth and sixth lines specifically, the poet has hinted at the qualities which water does not have. It is not disconcerted, it is not worried and it is not broken hearted. The negative qualities the water does not possess. In the second half of the poem, the poet has expressed the power of water. If we use the water well, he says, it gives us joy and happiness. If we further adorn it, beautify it, maintain it, it gives us double joy. Nature protects and takes care of us. Water indeed sustains, nourishes and maintains us. The positive impact of using water well is contrasted with the negative impact. If human beings do not use water in a proper manner, water has the capacity to destroy man and that too perfectly. Perfection in time and in quantity in measurement. It would not forgive if we ill use water. A poet has mentioned that though water can destroy, but it is elegant and has a face of golden pleasure. It will destroy elegantly, gracefully, neatly and smartly. This poem helps us understand water as a giver of life and a destroyer of life. He has succeeded in symbolizing water as a powerful element.